Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know you guys have been on my neck for me to be back on YouTube. So I'm back, I'm better. And today I'm gonna to be doing a makeup routine showing you how I achieve this look. So if you're still interested, then keep on watching. So I've done my skincare already, everything's sorted. You know, the skin's looking okay. I've got a few breakouts here, but it is where it is. So the first product I'm using is the YSL Touche Club Blur Primer. I literally just squeeze just a little amount on my hand or on my fingers and I just rub it in the areas where I'd want my skin to be blurred. So once that's done, I like to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is like one of the goats when it comes to translucent powders. And what I like to do is press it in to where I get oily throughout the day. So that will be around my nose and slightly on my cheeks as well. So I'm going to correct my skin using the Kevin Lacroix um, Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX16. And I'm just gonna apply it in areas that I feel need to be corrected. So around here. And you wanna be sure that this is a concealer that um, is close to your skin tone. I have lots of um, scarring on my neck due to hair removal. I get lots of hairs on my um, my jawline and my neck, so <sighs> stressful. So once that's done, I like to blend that all out. So my first step is going to be contour and I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Espresso. And I feel like this is the perfect contour shade. Um, it's a foundation, but you know, you can always apply products in different ways that you choose to. And yeah, mine's almost finished. Well, it is finished, but um, I'm going to apply it using a brush. I always like to place my contour quite high because I have quite um, a chubby face. Some of you may disagree, that's okay. But um, so I bring my contour high so it kind of gives that illusion of me having a slimmer face. And then you want to contour your jawline as well. Have you seen how long my sideburns are? I'm honestly over being such a hairy person. I'm not that hairy though. Like, my legs are not that hairy, but it's just like my, um, I get hairs on my face, which is so, so not cute. Um, this part's optional. I know lots of people don't like contouring their nose anymore. I still do, so. That's what I'm doing. And I start from my brow bone all the way down the bridge of my nose. And I kind of stop there. And then I contour the tip. Just like that. Um, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Chestnut. And I'm just gonna use this for my under eyes. Oh, I'm also going to apply some on my neck where I do have a bit of scarring also. So this is the point where I like to blend out my contour. So I'm just gonna use an angled brush and brush upwards. And to make sure the product doesn't move about, I just pat it, but in an upward motion. I 
I love, love, love that contour stick. Honestly, I don't know why it's a foundation. They should just make it a contour stick because it's so good. It blends out so well. So next I'm gonna use my Too Faced Hangover RX spray, setting spray, and just hydrate my face. This is also used as a primer, so I like to use it in between my steps. And I'm just going to blend out where we highlighted with concealer. So when it comes to your under eye, make sure you're pressing it in. Don't swirl it around because you want the product to stay in the exact place that you placed it in. And when you get close to your nose contour, you brush it inwards towards your contour line. Make sure you get around your nose also. See how natural that looks. So one of my favorite um, concealers right now is the Hourglass Airbrush Fit, um, Airbrush Finished Concealer? Airbrush Flawless? Um, I like using this Hourglass Concealer. This is so good, it's expensive, but let me tell you, it does the job. Um, I got this in the shade Flax, and this is for that snatched bright under eye. So it is very bright for my skin tone, but um, that's the kind of look I'm going for and you just want to place a little amount and I'm going to take some on the bridge of my nose so I'm going to use a new product today this is the Huda Beauty um, bomb brows in soft black and oh this is fancy so it has a nice spoolie at the end and then, oh, that's very, very fine. I hope you can see that. Very, very fine. So I like to let my concealer sit whilst I do my brow. Oh boy, I haven't done my brows since last year in like November. Um, I mean, I've plucked it the odd few times, but Okay. This is very fine, which I like because you can give like, <gasps> see that's the only reason why I don't like um, the very, very fine ones. I mean, it's great to get hair like strokes, but it snaps. Like that was a waste of product right there. Or maybe I pushed it up too high. Maybe it wasn't me. I mean, maybe it was my fault. how's everyone been I haven't been on YouTube in so long I don't know what it is I have my periods where I'm so productive on here and then I'm just like oh, it's so long I feel like I just need I need like a studio space to get stuff done um, I think that's also what it is because se setting up to film let me tell you guys it's so long especially when it's like in your room long so to conceal my brows I'm going in with the Kevin O'Quinn um, skin and heart serum again in SX 13 and with this concealer you really don't want to apply too much because it is thick and very full coverage And I'm just gonna blend it out. So once I finish my brows, it's time to blend out my concealer. So I'm using this Concealer Perfector from Zoeva 146. I absolutely love it for my under eye. 
and then I'm going to blend out the bridge of my nose also. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Honey. Press the excess off onto my hand and then I'm going to press into my under eye. And my sponge is damp so it won't mess up my um my base basically setting the places we highlighted oh <gasps> i always do this when i do my makeup i forgot to put on my foundation let's do it quickly i always do this so before you set your face you meant to use a foundation so you want to go in with a foundation, any that you like. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation and I'm literally using that much. And then I'm just going to place it around the areas that we didn't highlight or contour. So just here. And it just blends everything together seamlessly. And then I get the top of my forehead between where we concealed and where we contoured. And then just on the sides here, making sure everything blends together. So for my powder contour, I use an actual eyeshadow from Kiko Milano in the shade 05. And I'm just gonna place that on the hollows of my cheeks. Ooh. But I don't bring it in too forward. Just keeping it right there. do my chin as well and with the excess I lightly tap around my forehead I don't contour my for my forehead a lot I tend to bronze it um, well with a powder contour I don't tend to use a lot um, I don't know why so because I'm extra I like to reverse contour my cheekbones um, so I'm gonna do this technique So I'm going to blend out my nose contour. So I'm going back in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna cake some on top of my under eye before I start my eyeshadow, just in case I get any fallout. So, this is one purchase I made and I haven't regretted it. I have had this for a while. It has all the shades I need in here. So this is the Morphe 39A um, Dare to Create palette. This is my go-to. So as you can see, there are a bunch of colors. My black broke, but it's okay. But yeah, absolutely love this palette. If you're looking for, you know, your first palette, I would suggest this one. This was my like first big, big palette that wasn't like a drugstore one. And I've loved it ever since. And um, especially that I love, you know, the brown neutrals. That's my bag. Okay, so the first shade I'm going in is this light brown shade for my crease area. I'm just going to pat it on to my eyelid. Why do people always space out, or people, me included, why do people always space out their words when they're doing something? I feel like I can multitask, but like, I clearly can't speak when I'm doing something. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I tend to do both at the same time. I'm not a professional, this is just what works for me. Um, and 
Then I'm gonna go in with this lighter brown. I use the same brush for this everyday look, by the way. So then I'm gonna go in with this brown and use that as my all over eye color, all lid color, right here. And to warm things up, I like to go in with this warm brown tone. And with that, I like to place it on my outer corner and go into the crease. So that's it. I don't use more than three for every day because I'm not a pro. I can't be bothered. Who has the time? Keep it simple. So for this um, under eye, I'm gonna start with the warm brown that we start that we ended with, and going to press that as close as I can to my waterline or my lash line. Sorry. And you wanna push it in. Don't swipe it because your eye area is very, very delicate. So now you wanna dust off this reverse contour will be done. And I like to swirl this in, it helps with the blending. And I'm going to swipe upwards for my under eye to remove the excess translucent powder. I'll swipe down beside my nose. God, hair in my face, what the hell? So my new favorite product right now is the key to the perfect under eye. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade Tan or number three. And when I tell you this, just watch. I'm gonna come in closer, just watch how sick this is. So I get a little fluffy brush here and I tap sun onto my brush and I'm gonna gently tap under my eye. See that magic that it just does? What the hell? I don't know what is in this, but it just lifts your under eye. And they do have a deeper shade, one more, I think number four. Um, but I tend to like a bright under eye, so I went for the tan. Look at the difference. You better go and buy this because this is not, <laughs> it's not a joke, it's not a joke. I know some people may say I'm using a lot of powder under my eye. You have to make sure your skincare is on point. Make sure you're using a hydrating eye cream and you'll be fine. Gently blend that out. So I'm quickly going to put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've put on my lashes and I've done a very thin um, liquid liner on top. So I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation and for shade reference, I'm actually the shade 445 in Fenty. I'll just put that in very lightly. I don't know why, I like my five, my five head. <laughs> I like my forehead to shine just a little bit so I don't really put any on there. I'll probably put on, if I was to put any, I'll just add the excess so I'll just lightly tap. So I'm gonna go back in with my Hangover RX setting spray. Oh, this smells so good. It's got coconut water in it. Mm, I'm not a coconut person either, but it smells so good. And I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami. So I'm just gonna put some into my brush and tap on my forehead just to warm up the face because I've used a lot of um, cool tone contour so this just adds a bit of warmth
But this is the Ciate Dewy Blush in the shade Pomegranate. And it says it's a gloss, it's a glossy cheek tint. So let's see. Oh, oh. I feel like these gloss tints work better on a, you know, when you're doing like a natural makeup thing. But let's make it work. Okay, I feel like I've put on a lot of product. Actually, it's all right. It smells, it smells like sweets or candy, as Americans said. Um, I'm bringing my blush up. Got that tip from Naomi Campbell. She does a heavy blush on her side. Okay, that's cute. It's not bad. It's not too, um, what's the word? What is the word? Basically, the shade isn't too bright. Like, it's not bright as it looks. So if you're an idiot like me, this is what I do if I have put on too much blush. So I'm gonna go back with the foundation brush I use. This is my favorite foundation brush from NYX. And I just brush that down. And there we go, we're back to normal. Do the same on the other side. Um, just because I want some extra colour on my cheeks, I'm going in with the Kevin O'Croix um, Neo Blush in the shade Sunset. So I'm just going to lightly tap some onto my face. So for my highlighter, I also have a new product called the Dewy Sticks by Ciate, and I used this the other day. And I was like, whoa, absolutely crazy. So I just want to get the makeup I have on top of it off. So this is what it looks like. And I'm using the I'm using the shade Gleam. And what I'm gonna do is basically put that on the high points of my cheekbone. Put a bit on my nose right here. On my nose and just a tiny bit on my forehead and on my Cooper's bow. This highlighter honestly is amazing and I think it even looks better on bare skin. So so good. So I'm gonna blend this out with a little brush. If you do feel too shiny, just go with your powder foundation ever so lightly and just tap your face. So as part of my skincare routine, I already moisturize my lips with some lip balm. So I'm gonna go straight in with a lip liner. I'm actually gonna be using two lip liners. So the first one is a very dark shade from NYX and it's the shade Brown Perfection. Then my second liner is by Kevin O'Quinn and it's the shade, I think it's Pure, let me check. Yeah, the shade Pure. And this is like a warmer brown. This is very um, similar to Chestnut from MAC. So then for my lipstick, I'm using the YSL Slim Glow Matte in 207. Then I'm gonna go in with the Nip and Fab Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cinnamon. Next I'm going in with my Zoeva Lip Shine in the shade Explore with me. So next I'm going in with my NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Rocky Road. I use this as a liquid lip liner.
So I'm going in with my YSL Volume Effect Mascara. And I'm just gonna use this for my bottom lashes. So I'm going in with this powder highlighter. I think it's from Revolution, Makeup Revolution. And um, I'm just gonna place that on my brow bone right here and blend that out. So I'm quickly gonna do my hair and I'll be back. So guys, this is the finished look. I curled my hair real quickly off camera. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next one.